We want to welcome you to our veterans program. We think we've got something really that you'll be interested in and that will mean a lot on this Veterans Day. All around the world, particularly in England and France, Belgium, the Netherlands, at this time is a day of remembrance for them, but it's our Veterans Day. And we want to honor our veterans, both those who are still with us and those who have passed away and also those who have passed away in the service of our country. So at this time, I would like to call on our mayor, John Sellers, to welcome you. Good morning. As we gather on the 99th anniversary of the declaring of armistice, to end the war, to end all wars, on the 11th day, and the 11th month, and the 11th hour. 98 years ago, this community celebrated the first anniversary of this momentous occasion right here on this same square or plaza. And our courthouse stood proudly already 24 years old. As a kid, I often wondered about the man whose name was on the column of the First United Methodist Church as I would climb the steps. Later, I found out he was the first man to give his life in the War, World War I, Walter Kincaid, that the American Legion group was named for. Another childhood memory that I always had was my maternal grandmother told me of the story of darning and um, getting ready my grandfather's socks because he was about to be sent to, into the war. And, and what happened after that, and the first time I'd ever heard the term armistice, she said, but fortunately armistice was signed and he didn't have to go. I am also aware today of all the relatives of mine and the other members of this community that have served this country proudly and some giving their life. And I most especially remember my own father, Charles Sellers, who fought in World War II. On the behalf of City Council and as mayor of this great community, I would like to welcome you today to our Veterans Day program on Celebration Plaza and the reading of the names of our fallen heroes. May your day be blessed. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, our county judge, Robert Newsom, will give our invocation. Let us pray together. Well, Father, we thank you so much for America. Lord, that we can be on this square today, that we can stand uh, for principles of freedom, that we can stand for freedom, freedom and righteousness and truth throughout our country and especially right here in Hopkins County. We thank you, Lord, for every veteran that's standing in front of me today, for the, all of those who have gone on before. We thank you, Lord, for every citizen of Hopkins County as we honor these veterans today. And we just say thank you, Lord, for your many blessings upon us. Lead God and direct us, Lord, for we need your guidance, and we cannot do it without you. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, <coughs> oops. At this time, we'll have Amazing Grace by Mr. Jim Dial.
If you would please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing while we play taps and lower the flag. Uh, at this time, Alexis Lopez, one of our Sulphur Springs High School students, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Here we go. Salute Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alexis. You can be seated. As you know, we have a series of benches around our soldier statue. And we're putting the last bench in place today. We have them honoring World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam. And now we're going to dedicate the last bench which is in honor of our veterans who have been in the global war on terrorism. That's been going on since the 1880, excuse me, 1982. And it's still going on. So it's dedicated to the global war on terrorism. I've had several ask me, well, why don't we do a bench for Gulf War I and Gulf War II and what are we gonna do? Put one up for Somalia? And we've got troops in 180 countries right now. So this is symbolic of everyone who has participated since the bombing in Beirut. And to do that for us today is uh, ask Judge Robert Newsom to give us the county resolution. And thank you, Tommy. And, and in a moment, we'll focus our attention over here to the bench, and uh, it's covered right now. I want to just say a word before I read the proclamation from the commissioner's court. Uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, thank you, veterans. Uh, we can never, ever, ever repay you from my dad was in World War II. My sons have both fought in the global war on terrorism. And I uh, want to thank you for what you've done for America. As we look back in our history, we can look back to 1776 and even before then, as we see the heroes, uh, both male and female, that have served our country and made our country what it is today. And we are not finished. As we lowered the flag a moment ago, I was brought to remembrance that there's a price to be paid for America, for the freedoms that we enjoy. And I wanna say thank you once again. The proclamation reads as follows from the Hopkins County Commissioner's Court, whereas beginning in 1982 with the Beirut barracks bombings in which 241 American soldiers are killed, the war on terror has continued. After the attacks on the Twin Towers in New York City on September 11, 2001, then George W. Bush first used the term war on terror, stating that our enemy is a radical network of terrorists and every government that supports them, and whereas our valiant men and women of every branch of the U.S. Armed Forces have fought, not only in Afghanistan and Iraq, but in many other countries across our world to protect Americans and freedom-loving peoples everywhere from those who would promote terroristic activity. And whereas today in front of this commemorative bench, we honor those who have served here and abroad, who have sacrificed and for some made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of freedom and for those who love America. Our grateful thanks go out to all those who have answered the call of duty 
and those who continue to serve in this ongoing global war on terrorism. They are now, therefore, I, Robert Newsom, Hopkins County Judge, do hereby proclaim November 11th, 2017, to be forever remembered as a day honoring those who have served us in the global war on terrorism. May God bless Hopkins County, and may God bless America. And now, if you would like to turn, we're going to unveil the uh, bench. We have three Marines, as well as our veteran service officer, Danny Davis. Gentlemen, and it's dedicated to those who served in the global war on terrorism. That is sponsored by the Hopkins County Marine Corps League Detachment uh, and donors that we appreciate very much. And that completes our bench series, hopefully, around our statute. Thank you. Next, I would like to, for you to turn your attention to the north side of the square. You see those crosses. There are 245 crosses representing the men, fortunately no women yet, who lost their lives in the service of our country beginning with the Civil War. And what's really neat about this project is that we partnered with Mr. Harold Smithson who teaches principles of construction at our Sulphur Springs High School. And his classes built those crosses. The Hopkins County Marine Corps Detachment League paid for the materials, and they've been working on those for a couple of months now. And they really got into it and did an exciting job. Let's give a big hand for them. The Marines got out here at 7.30 this morning to put them up, and we, we've got it down now, and they'll be a lot easier to take up. But you stop and look at the number of crosses of those who served while on active duty. That's really something for us to remember on this Veterans Day. And to help us do that, we have two band students who are going to come up here and read off the names of the 245 men who died while serving our country. And we're going to ring the bell as they read each name. And our two students are Riley Farley and... Uh, <coughs> Israel Hernandez. I can't read my own handwriting. I apologize. Gentlemen. From the Civil War. From the Civil War. William Henderson Ascroft. Charles Henry Caton. G. D. Dixon R. Dixon William H. Franklin W. Hodge Jerry Jackson Brantley P. Joyner Perry M. Kidd J. Kersey Michael McClung A. McGee 
Bennett Jarvis McLaren. C. C. Mount. R. N. Nevins. C. M. Ramson. J. T. Ritchie. James D. H. Ritchie. J. H. Rollins. Ray B. Ross. D. Shepard. S. Shepard. T. F. Short. A. W. Sledge. G. W. Smith. George H. Stringfellow. Jesse Tate. From World War I. Carl Elwood Asbel. Carol Attaway. Oscar Baker. John M. Bennett. Richard Blankenship. Harley Elijah Boss. Gordon R. Boyd. Archie B. Buchanan. George Franklin Butler. James B. Click. John Earl Curry. Ben M. Day. James Harold Easley. George Austin Eden. Joe Ray Gafford. Earl D. Garvin. Wallen Givens. David E. Good. Harry F. Griffin. Robert Ollie Griggs. Garvin F. Holloway. George M. Holt. James Herbert Hood. Walter F. Kincaid. William Oscar Madison. Clarence McCool. Eska McCord. Grigsby Mentor. Denny L. Sanders. Dave P. Smith. Fred Tacker. Charles E. Taylor. Fount Taylor. Lewis B. Vaughn. Clarence A. Woods. From World War II, Douglas Howard Agree. Otis D. Alford. Roy J. Anderson. B. Z. O. Askew. Robert H. Bailey. Fred W. Ballard. Wilson Bernard. Edward Wayne Beeson. L. C. Blackburn. Claude Blackwell. Harold W. 
Blanton, Robert D. Bolton, J. B. Bowie Jr., Everett E. Brand, Edmund Breland, William T. Buckholt, Freddie Burkhart Jr. Richard James Burkhart, Stephen C. Burkhart Jr., Billy Campbell, Troy D. Carroll, Eugene Castle, Galen M. Chapman, Sam Chapman, Thomas Jonathan Jackson Christian Jr. Harris H. Coffey. Thomas Ray Coffey. Jim D. Combs. Orville Frederick Combs. William H. Coppage. John R. Crabb, Irvin T. Crabtree, I. R. Kirby, Arnold J. Davidson, James D. Dempsey, Woodrow Wilson Dennis, W. J. Dickin Jr. W. F. Dixon. L. C. Donnie the Third. J. F. Drake. James Easley. Terman Fanning. Jesse Floyd Farler. Jack Robert Olin Ferguson. Billy Joe Fisher. Edward O. Flournoy. James P. Fort. Albert S. Foster. George uh, Jarvis Frazier, G. L. French, William T. Funderburk, Cornelius W. Gamble, Ardith Wayne Gilbreth, W. A. Goldsmith. Billy M. Ground. William E. Halcom. Lolas Ray Harmon. James Benjamin Harrelson. Beale Harrington. Lloyd Harris. William L. Harris, Stacy Stacy L. Hendricks, T. B. Henley, Mernus I. Holmes, Clifton Hooker, C. L. Hooks. Granville Humphrey, Nello Humphrey, Royal T. Humphrey, Leroy Jackson, Rudolph 
Jan Jansek. Aubrey Bob Jennings. Lewis C. Jennings Jr. James H. Johnson Jr. Buddy Jones. Jimmy C. Keener. Earl Dwight Kinmer. J.T. King. Russell King. Sanford R. King. Siva W. Kirkpatrick. Delbert R. Knight. Marlin Ray Lawton. Oliver W. Lawrence. Jabez S. Lemon. Jack Long. Peter H. Lutterell Jr. George W. Marks. O.C. D. Martin. William R. Matthews. Clarence McCool. Orville E. McCormick. Edward L. McDonald. William I. McIntyre. Cletus J. McKenzie. Murray Charlton McKinney. Durward B. McKinnon. Charlton McKinney. Thurman E. McLean. Charles Hubert Meadows. Wayland Melton. V.T. Minter. Claude Henry Mitchell Jr. Oscar Eugene Mobley. R.D. Moore. George W. Moton. Carmen J. Nichols. Alvis D. Noble. Billy Foy Parker. James E. Parker. Harold Lemuel Patterson. Lloyd A. Patterson. Francis Leon Peacock. R.B. Price. James G. Purdy. O.B. W. Perrier. James D. Qualls. Gerardo Quintanillo. Demas Irving Ray. Lloyd C. Ray. Glendon M. Reasonover. William O. Richardson. Gordon R. Roberts. Ray B. Ross. Wayman D. Searles. Bobby Lee Sickles. Billy Harris Smith. Jabez J. Smith. 
Jim Sidney Smith. John T. Sways. Clement B. Scarborough. John T. Spangler. Marvin J. Spencer. Frank A. Stacks. Claxton K. Stewart. Travis W. Stout. Eugene Summerlin. D. B. Summers. Rudolph Tannock. Andrew Troy Tanton. Emmett B. Taylor. Lonnie A. Tegu. William John Thomas. Clarence Tomplins. S. E. Waller Jr. Julius Earl Watson. Marvin R. Weaver. James Duncan Westbrook. Robert E. White. L. D. Wicker. Henry Artis Wren. Guy Ernest Young. From the Korean War. Bobby R. Arthur. Sam Chapman. Sammy L. Clifton. Elvie Wayne Colbert. Ivan H. Harden. James Hart Jr. John A. Martin. Charles Edward White. From the Vietnam War, Dewey Ray Burns Jr. Henry Lee Creek. Ray Dewey Jr. Keith Lynn Gillum. Robert Albert Hagen Jr. Gary Mac Horn. John D. Martin. Wilburn Loving Minter Jr. James A. Swansea. Max Ray Spangler. Donald Wayne Smith. William Kenneth Vaden Jr. Charles Marlon Ramsey. From the Persian Gulf War. Charles Cecil Askew Jr. Jesse David Stewart. From the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. Jermaine D. Franklin. Tanner Stone Higgins. Michael Chad Lloyd. Patrick Wiggs May. Chauncey Ryan Mays. Thank you, gentlemen. Great job.
At this time, the band will play the Armed Forces uh, medley, and if your tune comes up, as we say, we want you to stand. And here to do that for us is J.C. Reed, our vocalist. U.S. Army, please stand. Gosh, what a wonderful voice. At this time, we're going to have our 21-round volley by our Hopkins County Military Coalition. We'd like for you to stand, please, and remain standing because it will be followed by our national anthem while the United States flag is raised.
again, JC. You know, this program just doesn't come together without some help. Our Hopkins County Veterans Committee, Memorial Committee, sponsors this event each Veterans Day. John Prickett of our committee is in charge. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here today. And we couldn't do it without the help of the county, without the help of the city, particularly Sarah Dykus and her staff, as well as our band director, Mr. McCarley, Josh Williams, assistant superintendent, Jenny Arledge for the school system, and of course, our Veterans Affairs Officer, Danny Davis. We really appreciate that. Let's have a round of applause for them, please. Thank you. We had planned a flyover, but the pilot is in Minneapolis. So we'll have to catch that next time. Ladies and gentlemen, veterans, this concludes our program. Thank you for being here. Thank mm -hmm. you.